<laughs> Hello and welcome. We are going to be going over V66 sneak peek in news, the dev log. This is the thing that Jake put out on the Steam page for Songs of Six. If you want to go read it yourself, go ahead and do that. You're welcome to do so. I am going to be covering that in this video, as well as kind of just saying my two cents on what's coming and then as well going over everything that's been coming out so obviously we have the amazing man himself seth uh i can't for the life of me pronounce his last name but i know what it is from he put out a review on songs of six which boosted the game significantly there is a few days left roughly a week left to get the game on sale so go and get it if you haven't done it already this will be the only sale that you'll ever have uh, if you can't afford it, I'm sorry, but there is the free demo, so go check that out. So, on to the main things at hand. So, Jake has been talking about, as you can read here, that V66 is basically one of the last patches before 1.0, uh, before the game is complete. Also, be sure to join the Discord if you'd like to chat with myself or anyone in the Songs of Six community. There's plenty of people who will help you out, so you can join that. There's a link on the Songs of Six page, as well as I'll leave a link in the description below. So Jake talks about how he's basically going over the developmental stage of V66 and trying to get everything play tested on his own and then release it for players to play without going through alpha stage, which V65 had gone through alpha, which I was allowed to be a part of. Thank you to Jake. So V66 will be available for everyone. Just go straight to beta. And we're gonna go over what that, what that encompasses. So you can see, there's some misc stuff, and he says, P forgive my misspellings. <laughs> he is a Swede, a Swedish person, I believe. So he, he doesn't speak English as his native tongue, from my understanding. But he has actually very good English. So there's a campaign engine that's being worked on. The tutorial converted into a campaign. Selectable scripts when generating random game. Different scenario options. Uh, scenarios are basically saves. Trait system remade and reworked to work with both or royals as well as subjects. Military equipment has efficient efficiency based on race. Okay, added as a modding request. I've added some malice, malice to the Arganosh. Okay, I think it's a new weapon maybe. All kinds of racism <laughs> is now connected in the world in your city and other factions. Save resilience. Saves should now be able to be opened with different mod configurations. So he's helping out with a lot of the mod stuff. 14 new soundtracks. Thank you to... I cannot for the life of me remember her name. Uh, Jacinka? I think it's Jacinka. Like J-U-C... Inca, and she makes all of the music for this game. She, in my opinion, would be one of the other devs. A lot of people say he makes the game by himself, and from what I've seen, Jake says he doesn't. He has a lot of help, and she makes all of the music right here. So 14 new soundtracks. The soundtrack is now complete, which is amazing. So we can we can actually see that. I'll probably pull some of the music from her YouTube and give her some credits in the in the description for this video. A nifty little property saver that saves, for instance, wall type and room construction to your profiles. Okay, so basically better quality of life, new menu, menu back room, which I've already experienced myself. It's beautiful. Uh, new titles, so basically new accomplishments, new achievements. So on to the next one. This is a big one. This is going to be very big, so if you have some time, grab some popcorn, grab a drink. You're going to be sitting here for a while listening to me blab, and hopefully I don't run out of oxygen because I do talk pretty quickly. So admin and knowledge have been have a sticky production, meaning values will not swing back and forth during the day. Okay, so I don't really seem to understand that, but I'm gonna guess that it means that admin is gonna be set at a certain level and it won't drop just based off of guys not working there. Accidents are back, that's scary as heck. Uh, also some panic when accidents occur, so people will get panic. Okay, pimp the embassy made it more space efficient it now needs jewelry and fabric although it's optional as the admin okay sick and injured people no longer count as workforce enabling you to control work priorities properly soldier fulfillment based on total number of soldiers not per race okay so i think there was a problem there i might not have understood that one grave mourners now stand beside the grave all right Market rooms keep their settings when copied. I like that, that's really useful. Pasture output tiles capacity increased. So they seem to be available more uh, output inside the actual pasture output area. The overtime now has significant penalties to happiness. Okay, we've never, I've never used overtime. Water pumps can now be only placed on 
groundwater. You must plan for the canals. Okay. So, I don't know. They were already only being able to be placed on groundwater. Maybe, maybe he changed it so you can't place them in the middle of nowhere. A data for resources and credits are now per day instead of per season. Okay, that's actually really interesting. I like to see daily. Resource piles have greater capacity, reducing their amount of potential lag if the map becomes filled with them. Okay, so they have a greater capacity. There's much more space, so these big old bundles of shit that we were getting before will exist. Rooms listed in construction order. Removed entrance check when building rooms, allowing you to build in mountains. Okay. Save blueprint. Now move to the construction screen of individual rooms. So basically, this is just going to save blueprints. Made some small changes to the bottom menu. I know you don't like this, but it's for the better. Some small changes might occur next patch, but after that, I'm done. So I actually looked at this, and it does look much better than it does currently. Uh, it's a little more easy for players to understand what's going on, and it actually explains what each menu is. Um, so you don't have to guess. They're just symbols currently, but now it'll actually say, like, construction buildings and stuff like that. Food preference improved. You'll get a slight value when there is one out of many. Okay. That's nice. Service overlay is now better. Entertainment buildings keep better count of available services. Services such as food stall and restaurant now count to fulfillment by themselves. Restaurants on, are on average used every eighth food stall day. Uh, don't even understand. <laughs> that, that is an interesting wording from Jake. I, maybe just him stupid. Tr tree regrowth rate halved and woodcutter production boost. Okay, so he's forcing us to cut wood through the woodcutter auto employee removed from crafting and buildings okay more road types and they look better they actually do look really really good road access remade now remade into preference which works the same as the building materials hospitals so basically there's wood floors wood uh walls uh stone floors stone walls and grand floors grand stone walls so all of the materials have their own and i think that there might be different dirt floors for that matter Hospitals now offer fulfillment to citizens. Multiple drink types. I have only two. Oh, so we have the new tavern, which is an upgrade. Uh, drink preferences work just as food preference. So certain races are going to have their own preference to specific alcohol. The new one is called Shalor or Sheller or some, some, something along those lines. We have the massage parlor, a much, much requested feature. I really look forward to this one. What happens in there is up to everyone's imagination. In practice, it is just another service, but reduces health slightly. Okay, it makes it makes them more dirty. New room stockade is a holding place for prisoners. It is dirt cheap and is not a punishment. Prisoners are now purely a punishment. Prisons are now purely a punishment. Okay, so it's just a place to hold prisoners for the moment, but it's not punishing them. Prisons are strictly for punishing people. Law is remade so that it starts at full, full fulfillment. So you'll start at 100% and it'll drop or go, you know, stay at 100%. Added escape events to stockades and prisons. That's cool. Work priorities and assignment mechanics got some love and now work better even when priority is zero. Okay, logistics remake. Wow. I like that he just says remake. Two new major things to know about fetch and deliver orders. These are set per room. These are things I'm going to actually go over in a detailed video. And I'm actually not going to read all of this right now because this is stuff that I could probably look at myself and answer better when I have played it because I haven't got a chance to do that. These are basically going over all of the different things that are going to change for logistics. It's a lot. I'd recommend reading it on your own time. We're going to jump ahead. Raids pimped up. I like that term. They no longer spawn an army, they attack directly. You have a chance to fight them on the field. Raid chances reworked now based on riches, resources, slaves, and credits, and your military power. Also your military reputation. So not just like if you have troops or not. Raids no longer scale as you defeat them until you've faced... They no longer until you're faced with impossible odds. Instead they are randomized each time. That sounds kind of fucked up, Jake. Um, raiders have a captain and a name. There are numbers of unconditional raids added that you can't avoid. Roundness is now an ad additive value. Made some visual changes to walls. I've seen those are very good. Some 20 plus text added to the tech tree. Refined how slave submission works. And then that is it for the city level. That is just a city. That's a whole page. 
for the city. And just don't mind my, my cat in the back here, he's just kicking stuff around. We're gonna go on to the next one, the world. We have factions, sound, and modding, so we're almost there, we're halfway done. Generation now tries to base the size of the region on capacity, meaning larger and fertile regions. So basically each region will be equal in their own regard. Roads made a bit more pronounced. Some color and sprite changes, those are actually very good and I've seen them myself. Editor, to share maps you make, make a mod and put the save from the editor into custom files, so that's for mod makers, I don't do all that. Havens now have lower requirements in order to join you, more will join if you exceed the requirements though. Okay, so you have a cap where your base level is and then there's more after that, all right. Build points removed, world buildings rebalanced. Okay, so everything's changed in the world buildings. Organization, a new world thing, and it's based on how much workforce you have allocated. It replaces distance, although distance is still there. Organization lets you either expand through upgrades or through region amounts. Building buildings now has a new flow. Loyalty and health is based on the population target, not current population. Well, enables you to know exactly what's built. Uh, population target not current populations oh, okay so basically just does the math for you it doesn't all right that's that's fair it's just jumping ahead building buildings is done in bulk and lets you experiment with different configurations without spending money all right so it saves you a lot of money because we were spending a crap ton of money on checking and doing different things prosecution in your capital also affects regional happiness so if we do something to some people at the capital, it'll affect the region. Representation of your species in your capital affects the region as well. And the same with nobles. Prices have been fixed all over and is now derived from the prices of goods. For instance, slaves cost their food and upkeep during breeding and the mercenaries their equipment and training. Whoa, that is... Now, if a mercenary group is 150 guys, you have to charge them... The time of their training plus the cost of their equipment, however much equipment they have. That's going to be like 100k. That's going to be a lot. I hope maybe they're cheaper to maintain overall. Who knows? We'll see how they work. Region generation improved. Battle stats for armies and factions. Military reputation based on your prowess. Affects AI factions and in-city stats. Correct. Alright. Correctly prices more than it will cost you to train your own. Oh, I jumped the line. Yeah, mercenary work. Scales with your size and have a long cooldown with disbanded and a low replenishment. Also, correctly prices more than it will cost you to train your own. So, on average, it'll be better to just train your own guys instead of sending the money to do so. I think that this might be kind of comp contradictory because of the fact that the mercenaries, unless they're better trained... They don't seem to be worth anything and there's no point of ever getting them at this rate. Because if they cost more than to make your own army, I guess they're like your your last, your trump card. Who knows? Who knows? Raid stance added for an army allows you to get slaves and resources from other groups of people and armies. Artillery is now an army supply. Okay. Only rations and clothes are mandatory. Drinks improve morale. So we can send an army with rations and clothes, which is interesting and going to help us on this process here with the mercenary armies so we'll be able to field an army without drinks which rations and clothes are pretty easy to get to i, I got rations unlocked at around 200 people and clothing you already start with so pretty much any group that can make clothing is going to be doing well factions have a new thing opinion threat now reworked based on population versus ai's population meaning small states will hate you more slash faster some additional stats added so Basically, new new players won't get beat up by guys with three thousand player, uh, three thousand man armies. They'll get beat up or attacked by guys with a hundred men, and you have to fight them and kill them, or they'll just raid you and take your stuff. They won't destroy you outright. UI of the opinion enhanced, reworked emissaries. Now a diplomatic point system. Points allocated will stick to the court when someone dies. Better UI for this. New sabotage diplomacy option in order to get a faction to attack you without getting a betrayal penalty. Betrayal added. If you act like a jerk, you will be severely punished by all factions. Okay, so you can basically be a peaceful peaceful person. Factions will not attack you simply because they do not like you. They, yeah, exactly. They will make sure they can beat you in auto-resolve. Alright, factions with low opinion will secretly convince other factions to attack you with time. New diplomatic options available. Alliance, colleague, vassal, protector, joint federation. Obviously, 
alliance is just military alliance. A non-aggression pact is a colleague. Vassal, become or make a vassal. They pay tribute to you. You'll pay 15% of your shit each year. Wow, Jake. <laughs> Protector, above but reverse. So basically, you'll be protecting them or you'll be a vassal of someone. Join a federation, unite, pay a hefty sum, to have a faction join yours without bloodshed. New trait system for royalty shapes a unique personality that has a large impact on your relationship. So there's a bunch of new characters in, in royalty. This will prompt you to assassinate more. All factions now have, have an army. These armies grow slightly as you expand. Initial generations of factions to make sure you will have nice progression. The neighboring factions are immune to events and will stay there until you are ready to expand. Slave trade, as well as war diplomacy fixes. The betray system hopefully fixes exploits such as selling your region and then attacking it shortly after. So they'll see it as a big, big no-no. Sound, obviously this is just added what it is. There's going to be some new sounds. Uh, reworked the sound engine, added multiple new sounds in theory, but I haven't added much of the actual sounds. So he's just adding the engine so he can add more sounds in the future. And then modding. Modding is all that it is. So we're going to go over the images real quick, and then I'll just go over what I'm excited for the most. I kind of already commented on it. So this is the new map setting. Look, you can see that it's it's very green in certain areas, and then like tan. It's He's going off of the Lord of the Rings, like old artwork for books and movies and games and stuff. So it's very cool. It's got that nostalgic look to it. You can see this is a stockade. This is what the stockade looks like, and these people are being held there. I don't know how it works. I guess they just sit inside the stockade and they're imprisoned and then they have to get processed through an actual dungeon. Who knows? This is thanks to Craster. Craster is one of the amazing helper art devs on the on the actual Songs of Six group. So he's uh, put all these new models up. This is what the old Talapi looked like and this is what most people are familiar with and this is what they're going to look like. This is going to become the norm. And I recommend you get his mod. It's out now. You could play with them already uh, as a sprite system. And these are the humans. As you can tell, these are much more human-looking people. They're very stoic-looking. They have all kinds of unique facial expressions. And not really facial. They all have this straight face. But they all have cool mustaches and hair. And they're the in-between. We have Cretonians, the wild, kind of derpy-eyed-looking people that they are they all have these big old tusks and the women have a different color than the men so men have these big tusks and these sideburns women do not i think this could be a man i do not know what that is but these are women for sure garthimi if you could tell me what what is a woman and what is not a woman actually i think that this this might be a woman and this one might be a man the, not the paint but their the shape of their head is different they have two shape heads Oh, this guy kind of breaks the mold there. I don't know. We've got the old faces, though, and they, they look good. They look good. But this new look is amazing, and it's going to change how everything looks. Cretonians obviously look the same, but these guys look very, very different. And then we have this here. This is the new settings for the actual, like, towns. We, we can see the name of it is Michin, Michin Corp or whatever. I, I can't even say what that is. And it's got new options all together, different bonuses. It looks like there's a population for the region. All kinds of stuff. I, I have to dig into it myself. These are the new buildings. So you can see there's a new door shape. And the walls are slightly adjusted. The actual wall is wider on the outside. And then there's less of the inside. So you can see it's this is the outside, kind of the roof area. And then they, these are the doors. And every everything has got a little bit of a rework. This is the new alcohol here. I, I can't see if it's got a name available right there, but you can see that there's new space for the alcohol and there's all kinds of new warehouse settings, which I will go into in detail when I get, get the chance and actually break into this bad boy myself. These are all the new floors and these are the Garthimi Dread floors that you can put down. So they are one of the types of floors and then these look like a different type of Dread Stone. I don't know and then I have no clue. There is a lot of different options. There is so much to do for decorations now. And the classic dirt road there. And the massage parlor. This is the base massage. The second and the third upgraded. That is a nice place. In, I would like to get a massage there for sure. That's where I'm going to go. And then we've got 
all of these unique these are the characters the the mercenaries if you look this is the mercenaries so these are the different mercenaries the other rulers so right i was right yep the average going rate is these guys are very cheap eight thousand these guys are very cheap a couple thousand but the vast majority of them are over a hundred thousand this one is looks like he's almost a million it's a very blurry picture but he looks like he's almost a million you can sell Cretonians is the new menu for uh, factions to be trading. You can sell uh, any kind of slave that you'd like and choose which one you are selling. And then finally, the final thing that we can go over is the artwork. And then I'd like to go over... Oh, it's not really that. It's, it's beautiful artwork. But mostly I'm excited for these massage parlors. I think there's way too much to go over and be excited for. There's new walls. So you can see that these are the old walls. I think the new walls look really good, the new decorations. Cities are going to look amazing. He's changed things so quickly and so fast that a lot of the stuff is is just going to go right over my head. I'm probably missing a few things, but you can see these are the new walls. Much better, much better. Much more clear of what they are, what, what flavor they are, and the decoration. And I think that it will, it will blend better, especially with all of these different uh, textured floors. And the sides of them are much better if you see that they kind of match the side very well and they, they corner out like this. It looks great. It looks great. I'm very excited. I hope you guys will be ready because there's going to be a new series out tomorrow. Be, be sure to check it out today at 6 o'clock in Eastern Europe time and in Jake's time. It's going to come out. So that means later on today for American people like myself, uh, potentially tomorrow if you're farther i don't know actually it, i think everyone's going to be getting it today some people i don't know what whatever time zone you're in you're going to be getting it at some point today so go check it out you can get the new version of it when it's out and ready and uh see for yourself how you like it and uh be sure to leave a comment on anything that you'd like to know if you get the game in the future and you're questioning things i'd love to know what people are looking for and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.